<coughs> Sorry, I'm dying constantly. I'm not streaming Overwatch. If it's stream info, that's a lie. Sorry. About that. I fixed it. Okay. It should be good now. Where's my mouth? Oh, it's just moving slow. Cool. <laughs> okay. Um, I do have some mods enabled. Nothing game breaking. I don't want a game breaking mods. It's just like, you know. My settlement. I can build things in it. <laughs> That's actually cool just because it does nothing for me. Yeah, everything else here is good. All out four. War. War never changes. True that. <laughs> In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, I don't know the audio, the audio quality. Century, people awoke it's from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. Also, do I need that open? Probably not. It's gonna be fine. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Of my time in the army taught me one thing. It's that war. War never changes. Okay, thank you. Um I'm still trying to figure out like what I want to do for this build. Because obviously I want to build things for settlements because I think that'll be fun. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hun. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hauling uh, your hair. Right. I'm bad at making I'm bad at character creation, so I'm just gonna do what I usually do. And that is slightly tweak this face. Uh actually you know I'll just um 
What if I play Nora this time? Because I always play Nate. Um, decisions that I should have thought of before I started playing. Let's give this man that Did hair. Did get a haircut yesterday? Yeah, I'll just play Nate. Okay. Um, I lied. Hmm, this new haircut's really working for me. with Sean totally has your eyes um nose Hun. you think my nose is too big nose ears those are cheekbones Ears. So handsome. Ears. I agree. Uh, eyes? I clean up pretty nice. Uh. Eyes. <laughs> when I say I'm not good at character creation, this is what I mean. I just kind of. Um, okay. not outer that <laughs> square <laughs> Minecraft Steve Minecraft Steve in the Joker you have such a strong chin. Shut up about my chin. Won't you shut up about my chin? Um, beard. Maybe just. Beard. Mustache. Uh, I'll just go Lone Wanderer. What do you think, hon? Beard or no beard? Extras, marking. Sparkles? What is... What are these sparkles? On the shows. Oh shoot. I didn't realize. I thought it was a bar. Yeah. It like so turned down that I can't see it and I'm scared to like touch it, so um Let's say that this man, name withholding, sure, sure, just made it so I could, <laughs> it's visible. Uh... Burn. Turn it down a little bit so this is red. Okay. Oh, that's the face I fell in love with. Damn. Okay. I forgot to change his hair, but it's fine. Like, I 
Kator. Ah, good morning, sir. Thanks, Kazuwe. Thanks, Kazuwe. Grognak the Barbarian and the Jungle of the Bat Babies. It's my That's favorite. It. What the hell is that? Why is reality breaking right there? Um, you know? Much like Cthulhu, the more you acknowledge, the crazier you get, so I'm just gonna leave it alone. You know, I was nervous at first, but Cosworth's really good with Sean. I'm so proud of her. Okay, so yeah. In this, like, setup, Nate is a uh, reporter. Um, I don't know what his status is, like, on leave, or... I don't know what his deal is. And Nora is a lawyer. Sugar bombs. Sugar bombs. Daily value of sugar. Okay, there's like interactions I can do in here. But I never see because I never come in here. Can you get that? It's probably best to help me. I can't see you every day. Ah, broken again. We really need to get those vacation photos developed. What a lovely day. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. War never changes. <laughs> Got that right. Hello. Good morning. Voltec calling. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. <laughs> I'm here, I'm here now. now. So you are. <laughs> To not so read those. But, like, I also don't want to be silent because, well, like, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being I... a uh, speaking a precious is commodity. not easy. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre selected for entrance into the local vault. Into the local vault? vault How local is it? I barely know her. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe <laughs> Just you take me. a look at them for a second. Look now, like they're not responding to any of my jokes. Unforeseen event of, uh, Except that. Total atomic annihilation. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Oh, y'all want a Jolly Rancher? Uh, I don't want cherry. Where's blue raspberry? Is there not a single blue raspberry in this bag? Grape is close enough. Oh, uh, sarcastic. Now I can't wait for the world to end. ASMR, <laughs> I eat a Jolly That's Rancher. The spirit. Now, let's see. Okay, time for a special point. Um, as before, I didn't really think about the actual build I want going in. Since I am going to be doing a lot of settlement stuff, I guess I should have enough charisma. Strength so I can carry stuff. And up each other one. Potions, luck. I guess that's good. Like, just very rounded out. I'm not looking for anything. Okay. Name. Uh, I could just go default. Or I could come up with a new name. Um, <clears throat> this guy will be named. Call me anything. Call me anything. <laughs> if you're gonna call me anything, call me unoriginal. Walk this over to the vault. 
congratulations on being prepared for the future. Thanks. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. I'm being cooked. I'll take a little paperwork, right? For you Perfect. and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Also, this is literally just a prop. Yeah? You heard Todd's voice. Go on. Okay, so once again, I'm explaining something to my audience. Um, yeah, so if you do yeah, this. Those here. Yeah, so not, Nate and Nora don't smoke, but there's cigarettes there for, like, aesthetic. To show what the model looks like. Hello, child. How are the two <laughs> doing? Oh, I'm fine. Bit. He loves that. Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Sure. Yeah, sounds like fun. fun. Mom, you should come see this. Codsworth, what's wrong? What's going on on here, Cods? Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. We, oh, we no. do Meow. have. Meow. We do have coming in. That's the um, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Why is the world breaking up there? Oh my God. We we need to get to the ball now. Out of my way. Just help me pack it up. Hey there. God, I can't lose you. It's just the panic Taylor. It's absurd. I am not on the list. You don't get in. I'm going in. You can't stop her. Excuse me. Okay. We need to get in. We're on sure is very coincidental timing. Infant. Of everything. Adult male. Adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, you two follow me. Like Come minutes on. after I sign up. Outside the gate. Everything we can. Step on the platform in the center. Okay. Hi. I don't know what happens to that gag. The bomb explodes and I die. <laughs> Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! I'm sure it's fine. Hold on! Into the dungeon we go. We did it. We made it. We're okay. Let me in. I know this. I know everything that Everyone happens. Please step off the elevator. I am the god of the universe. Stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. Me in. Me in. Thank you. Uh, thanks. Thank you. What anyway, now? here I go. He'll show you where to go. All right. It's gone. Follow our home. Everything we had. You mean the new private dining room? Oh, Sir. Oh, we're thinking of Nathan. I know this is a good bit. It's a good bit, sir. Yeah, thanks. I am designed to be so slow. This is where the company hall is. Prepared for the future. Right? Prepared for the future. Am I right? Am I right, gamers? Prepared for the future? Uh, 
Can you please get a move on? Not to sound impatient, but I was ready for the bomb to drop. And here you two are lollygagging through all this. I just want to play the game. Expansion. Just step in here and put your. Why is this decontamination pod so cold? Shh. It's okay, baby. Who's my gonna be guy? okay? Nothing bad's gonna I'm happen. I'm not going ever. far. We're just gonna get clean, and then we're gonna go live in a cave. Hey, nothing bad's if gonna happen here. Contaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the bomb. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. <sighs> Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. Honestly, I wouldn't be adverse to taking a nap in some nights. <sighs> What's going on? Why is it blue? Yeah, everything's gonna be fine. That guy got it right. I'm dealing with like the not great <coughs> comedy aspects are bad. This is what I get for thinking that funny. Not. Hey, girly. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, God! You're fine, right? I'll find you, did this. And I'll get you back. I promise. She's sleeping. I'll just uh, close this back up for her so she stays warm. Uh, there we go. We'll be fine. I also like the idea of Nance here wakes up after seeing his wife get shot and his kid get kidnapped. He's like, I need this coffee cup for real bad. Cryogenic <laughs> wreck. Offline. <clears throat> Premature termination resulting in system failure. Isolated men in ASI manual and remote overrides detected. Control disabled. Offline, premature termination, yada yada yada. It's gonna say they're all dead. Cease, association. Yeah. Go 
jumpsuit. I'll take it. Also, only one door to this room. It's a fire hazard. <coughs> Security instructions. Confidential, confidential, confidential. Security is eyes only. Is violation. Blah, blah, blah. Vault 111 is designed to test the long term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Security staff are responsible for maintaining isolation, integrity, and monitoring staff activity. Under no circumstances are staff allowed to deviate from assigned duties. Insubordination or interference with vault operations are capital offenses. Security staff are authorized to use full force. So, yeah, uh, so a little surprise for those who don't know. Voltec kind of sucks. Voltec's kind of uh kind of liars. Operation present enemy. Upon activation notice from Voltec, all personnel are required to report to the entry area and assist with admittance of vault residents. Security personnel will maintain order and ensure no personnel or residents attempt to evacuate the vault. Research staff will be responsible for resident intake and escort to each designated cryogenic pod. Residents not accounted for in the manifest should be asked to step aside and detained forcibly by security if necessary. Once all residents have been sealed into their preservation chambers, dispose of any detainees in vault entry they must remain sealed under any circumstances. Members of the research team must daily monitor the vital signs of cryogenically preserved residents. Cardio, cardio, pulmonary, and cognitive activity in particular must be reported hourly. Life saving intervention is only permitted if greater than 80% of the resident population has perished while in cryogenic and must not interrupt this event. Independent research is incurred and left to overseer discretion. Your personnel are carried out in constant eight hour rotation. Security priorities include monitoring for signs of intrusion, checking for atmospheric leak, atmosphere leaks, settling disputes among personnel, enforcement of regulations set forth by the overseer, enforcement of regulations set forth by Valtec. Due to the nature of Vault 111, personnel will be ex expected to perform duties outside of their normal qualifications, such as janitorial duties and food preparation. The exact distribution of these roles is left to the overseer's discretion. I'll clear message. Following the nuclear event, vault will monitor hazards such as radiation levels, enemy invasion, subsequent act attacks, and other factors. Once conditions are deemed safe, this terminal will receive the all-clear notice. Upon receiving the all-clear notice, vault personnel may be evacuated at overseer discretion. Regard any notices from organizations or individuals that are not associated with vault including government and military. Residents are not to be dis disrupted or evacuated. vault will attend to their needs remotely once Vault 111 staff has been evacuated. Vault 111 is classified as a short-term assignment. Non-resident personnel are expected to carry out research duties and basic maintenance of the vault while waiting the all-clear signal to evacuate. In absence of an all-clear message from Vault Tech, the overseer may elect to evacuate staff after a mandatory shelter period of 180 days of containment. Under no circumstances may Vault 111 staff evacuate during this shelter period unless receiving the all-clear message from Vault Tech. So yeah. Log October 23rd. God, it finally happened. The world's over. Barely all the residents got inside. Not everyone made it. Now it's just us and the icebergs. I don't get it. Eggheads try to explain to me that keeping them frozen is a big experiment for a better future or something. I don't know. It just doesn't seem right that we're smiling at them all the time before putting them on ice. Shouldn't we have told them something? The yeah, bombs dropped October 3rd, 2077. December 25th, so months later? Christmas Underground got together with the rest of the security boys and support staff and had a little party. 
Best gift I got handed out was a fancy lad's snack cake that wasn't too stale. None of the scientists came. Overseer wasn't there either. I just don't get them. They're hiding something from us. They hiding something from us? Oh yeah. Another company secret only for the higher ups? Whatever. It's just a few more months until the all clear is supposed to come through. Then we can start rebuilding. Only a few weeks left in our mandatory shelter period. Everyone's getting stir crazy. Some people are even saying the all clear signal is never coming. We can't stay here much longer, that's for sure. It's not just the fact that I've been staring at the same break room and bunk bed for over six months. It's the fact that we only have enough food left for another few months. Tops. Here was your keeps telling everyone that to be patient, folks can work. He's definitely keeping us out of the loop. Something bad is going on. No way. The main door access and the vault exit is malfunctioning. Now only the way out is through the overseer's evacuation tunnel. How convenient for him. He has one of the signs seen watching the door into his office at all times from a little makeshift checkpoint. Got invited into a meeting tonight. Support staffers and secured only. Sounds like I'm not the only one with the axe to grind. No all clear from all this coming. We need to leave. We're all but out of food. I almost murdered Stanley for dropping a damn salt cracker on the floor. A handful of us confronted the overseer about opening up the vault. I never knew a man that small could shout that loud. Now he's locked himself in his office along with the rest of the science staff. We're supposed to hand over any food, weapons, and medicine we have by tonight, or there's going to be consequences. I've talked to everyone. It's time. One way or another, we're getting out of this vault. Yeah. Uh, things didn't go well. Like, I'm always so confused about, like, what Vulpix falls with. It's like, they wanted the pumps to drop. Giant. Roaches? What the hell? Glass. I need so much glass. I need to make windows. Over your memo. Remember, use of the recreational terminal is a privilege. If if work performance declines, this privilege may be revoked. Enjoy it responsibly. Frick Tim Tim say so Tim I know I don't want to say I wanna take I don't think there's anything in here. It's just like an empty room. I don't know, flashlight. Right, the door's over here. Did I get I did. They're like, Ooh. hello. What happened here? Also, this man has Where skeleton. Is he has been dead for a long ass time. Back in. Hydrate. I'm the hydrate. Alright. So this is the overseer I'm assuming? Is this all that's left? Um Nice. Coming back later for you. Um now. No excitement. Lost. Ammo. Poppy pen. Uh, the terminal. Alright. Combination comp for Overseer Eyes Only. Vault 111 is designed to test the long term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. 
Your staff will be sh on short-term assignment to monitor basic cardio and cognitive functions. The long-term monitoring will be handled remotely by Vault Tech. Under no circumstances, suspension will be disrupted. This includes the administration of life-saving measures. Staff is also considered expendable. Insubordination or attempts to activate prematurely are capital violations. Unused cryogenic pods are preferred method for cadaver disposal. While I have long dreamed of making cryogenic freezing available in a portable on-demand form, a cryolator is my latest attempt. Thankfully, we're in no short supply of chemical components I need to tinker with the prototype. It's a nice way to occupy the time as we wait for the all clear signal. Operation. Minutes. Uh, yeah, this is just what. Okay. Operations. The final staff or orientation is complete. All but a few of the residents down in Sanctuary Hills have been enrolled. And several from Concrete as well. Voltex supervisors came up with this came up this week to do a technical review with me. This vault was ready to open. I can only imagine what wonders our residents will get to witness. The notion of leaping forward in time. I almost wish I could join them and see the promise of our future real life. It's happened. We were lucky that most of the staff was nearby when the early warning came through. We had less notice than expected, but only Nordhagen was missing when we sealed the entrance. Nordhagen. Is that a name I know? I feel like that's a name that I know. Nordhagen Beach. Uh, resident minutes, but smoothly everyone made it, even the family waited until the last minute. That waited until the last minute. I was more worried there would be more suspicion, but things happen so fast for these people, they must have been too overwhelmed to question the crash. Strange issue today with Pod C3. Subject appeared to be having heart palpitations, nothing life threatening, but a need. We realized almost too late that the pod was malfunctioning, the cryogenic array almost started thawing her out. We're not sure, but I suspect a hiccup in vault Tech's remote override system may have sent an error to it. We'll have to keep an eye out, and I only hope other systems are reliable once we've acted. There's been no all-clear signal yet, even though we're nearing the end of the 180-day mandatory shelter period. Supplies were never intended to last much more than that, and despite my best efforts, people are beginning to question what we're doing down here. If people think we can just leave when the 180 days are up, they're insane. Radioactive exposure would still be potent enough to fry everyone if the vault seals are breached that early. The whole point of the all clear was to receive additional instructions from the officer. I don't know what to do. We can't open the vault. I d can't expect our supplies to last forever. I just have to keep everything under control here. The faction led by the security personnel have turned on me, demanding that they be allowed to leave the vault. Idiots, I will not let the door to be irradiated to death up it. I'm Validating the remaining supplies, putting the staff on lockdown, we're going to have to start prioritizing who deserves what little food we have left. I've been too damn generous with the ration. If people don't like it, well, that's your mouth to eat. And I think. Yeah. And this is like the usual on par for Vault Deck. I'm not trying to throw anything, I'm just... Okay. Skeleton! He doesn't need it anymore. Okay, I 
can equip eyeglasses with perception. They're the same thing. I'll do no such thing. Oh wait, right here, so I can be ferried away. Everything's good. Finish. Enjoy your return to the surface, and thank you for choosing Vault Tech. Really loaded screen? Is that... Is that what happened? I couldn't tell. Thank you for explaining. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind those. Those are just uh, creation points. More ammo, don't mind if I do. Am I hearing Morse code? Or am I going insane? <laughs> I'm hearing hearing outside? Ah, oh, those auditory hallucinations. So funny. Alright, so as I said in the beginning, in, in the in the beginning, um, I do have a few mods installed, and one of them just expands settlement build limits. Because I want to be able to do things here. I talk with Cosworth. Hey, God. Uh, what happened? What happened to the world? The world, sir? Well, besides our geranium still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, I am afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Mrs. Dax. Where is your better half, by the way? Uh, she, uh, better place. She's... Oh, she's fine, Codsworth. Don't worry about it. Place. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, uh, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction. You know, props to the voice oh, actor for Codsworth, because I'm pretty sure he voiced Codsworth, Valentine, and as Codsworth, he did all the, um, like, the names. Uh, he's been kidnapped. Sean's been kidnapped. But I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. 
It's worse than I thought. It's worse than I thought. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. Uh, 200, 200 years? years? What? Have Are I been you? sleeping for that a long? Over 210, actually, sir. Oh, give it Can I get five more minutes? <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack. <laughs> you be fat. You okay, Cosworth? You're acting a little. You okay, buddy? Weird. What's wrong? I... Also, I'm scared my foot is asleep, I... and I want to move it. Oh, sir, it's but it's so normal. close to like my stuff that if I move it, Centuries it might break no everything. Stay with me, Cod. Stay with me, Cod. Focus. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came oh. and all of you <laughs> left in such a hurry. My foot. I thought for certain you and your family were... dead. I did find Mrs. Hollowtape. I, I believe the missus was only presented to you as a, a surprise. But then, oh, everything happened. Thank you. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. Uh, sure. All right. Lead the way. How to serve, sir? Okay, I'm gonna listen to this whole time because, like, I listened to it once and I remember it made me sad. And I never listened to it again. I don't gotta get bopped. Please, no. Join the civilian workforce and I'll shake the dust off my law degree. But everything we do, no matter how hard, we do it for our family. Now, say goodbye, Sean. Bye bye. Say bye bye. Come on. <laughs> bye, honey. We love you. Unlock four shot there. Nice. Uh, I'll bump intelligence. Is that sweet XP? Alright, it's Codsworth done killing everything. Once he tells me to go to Conquer, I'm gonna start clearing him out because I did. <laughs> I hate seeing DMS. Mr. West? Ah, yeah. Your, your family isn't here either. They're, they're really gone, aren't they? It's okay. Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You can't give up, sir. I just said it's okay. What about the city? I didn't say I was going to give up. in the eye and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. Uh, thanks. Thanks for your help, Codsworth. 
gonna go do a thing and then I'm gonna game the system by like walking into Concord then coming back to get Codsworth. Forgot about that. First I wanna destroy. Cannot stand. Also, I want to share something that um, really makes irks me. Um, so you see, I can dismantle fence, right? Boop, boop. Not this one. This one is apparently too integral to the game. But I can dismantle this. And that, not this. That was just upsets me so much because now I'm just stuck with that floating fence forever it's a bit better and go here is where these happen Brad Roach. <coughs> Don't care enough about the Brad Roach to. I just gotta go into Concord far enough to where I hear gunshots. Then I can leave and come back and get Godsworth to take him with me. Because I need that. Uh, I need his approval. Oh, wait. I didn't. I didn't cheat when I came to approval, I guess. I do have a mod that uh, increases. It doesn't increase the rate. It just um, turns like the cooldown off for your companion likes and loves. Just so like it goes a little bit faster because that is recent. If you've already played the game. Okay. Here, 
shotgun shot. Okay. I can go back and get Cosworth. Uh, just like that now, huh? Also modded, so it's a walled off rocket. Can you use the aesthetic? destroy this tire. On my way to Codsworth, I will be destroying things. Mr. West, welcome back, sir. I do mm -hmm. hope you were able to find some assistance in Concord. Um, raiders. I only saw some raiders. Not much else that I could tell. I feared as much. I realize that I'm no Mr. Gutsy, but if needed, I'd be honored to accompany you throughout the Commonwealth. Just say the word. Come with me. Yes, of course. Lead the way, sir. Let's go, Cosworth. like that. Oh. Good I can loot him now. Oh, these legs. Oh, these are okay. inside. Look at all this junk. Stored away and not laying about. Oh, God, that's a corpse. That's what that is an actual cow. He's zooming. So we can start getting like the good equipment from crafting weapons. Can I was not 
Raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser monkey and help us. Please. Oh, that's a corpse. I thought that was a gun. On the right leg. Chess beast, I will take it. Whoa. Oh shoot. Hey, oh nice. Okay. <gasps> That's why behind cover. But Preston can't hit him. Perfect. Oh man, I don't know Hello. who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minutemen. What well, the hell? Help. Well, if that's true, we can Cover's do some more good work. <laughs> As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. Go on. Please, go on. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First, it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. Uh, Sorry. No. So rough, rough, buddy. Thanks. Good to meet someone who really cares. Anyway, we figured Concord would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong, but, well, we do have one idea. Well, that's one great. One good idea can make all the difference. Sturgis, tell him. There's a crash vertebrate up on the roof. Crash oh, vertebrate up on the roof. Pre-war. Pre Might have seen it. Well, seen. looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. Military ish. I like I it. Like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertebrae. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Is that that minigun. Fuck yeah, dude. We're talking. Sounds like an hour. No, right? Only there's one hitch. There's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again, but we're a bit stuck. Uh huh. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. Standardized <laughs> Thank you for explaining. 
uh, exclu yeah, not explore to me, pressing. Used by the military and some companies way back when. We know right where to find you. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement, locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker, bypassing security. Is this stuff exact... still on Preston's line? I already have it. Actually, I all. Well, all right. All right. I'm sorry, I want to skip the bat. I don't want to snap it off. Hell yeah. Let me out, let me out, let me out. Surely you meant to leave that rubbish where you found it. No, Cosworth, I meant to pick it up. Only and utterly. Stop that. So rude. Come that fancy gun up Jump over that. Thank you for your loot, it's all mine. My health. So pee pee. you to keep walking this way after hearing all that. Sir, are you aware of what happened? That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you're on our side. Yeah, it's mutual. Feelings mutual, Preston. You can never have too many friends. Not in the Commonwealth. Listen, when we first met, you said you were glad to help. Well, you did. And we owe you our lives. So here. Yeah. It ain't much, but it's the best way I can say thank you. Uh, I didn't help for the money. I helped hey, for the sorry. companion. I'm used to everyone being in their own themselves. Right, you know, you remind me of my friends, the other men and men, the ones who gave their lives for something bigger than themselves. You should come with us to Sanctuary. We could use the help. Sure. All right, Garvey. Come in. I'm in. Oh, 
That's wonderful. That's wonderful. There's more to your destiny, isn't there? I've seen it. And I know your pain. I know pain. Um help me please. Please tell me. I need to know. You're a man out of time. I will hope. But all's not lost. I can feel his son's energy. He's alive. Um, thank goodness. My son's it. alive. Haha. Please tell me where he is. I need to find my son. I can't see him. Not clearly. But I feel his life force. He's out there. Even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest Diamond. settlement around. Uh, I need more. Please, Mama Murphy, I need more. I'm looking for nothing. I need more. Look, kid, I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The site will paint a clearer picture. The site will paint a clearer picture. Oh. Uh, this one will go to. Yeah, yes, one. Her XP. Pardon me. I'm just gonna ask you back to Power armor. Transfer the minigun. Now I'm going to destroy everything else. Hey, help me level up? hey, good to see you again. I was hoping you'd show up. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? Yeah, I yeah. used to live here. I used to like living here. I literally just woke up. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... Uh, 200 years here. ago. I was napping. Over 200 years ago. I was Everyone frozen was or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? My, My son. son. You got kidnapped, Smiles. Still trapped. I've been looking for him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. Can I stare at each other? And I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. <laughs> I remember that way of being a lot longer on PS4. Settlement asking for help. Still hoping there are Minutemen out Settlement there. asking for help. Somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Minutemen is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. The trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out the settlement? Sure. Glad to help. That's fantastic. The Minutemen could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad level to call level up. Get. Oh yeah. All right, so I have Scrapper, I have Idiot Spawn. I guess something for combat now. Oh. 
Um, simply done. Okay, so I think from here I'm gonna stop stream just because it will assume. I don't think that's what I think. Um, I think next time I stream, I will be fixing up Sanctuary, like, you know, during Sturge's thing, and then heading to Pan Pine's block. So wait. Okay, yes, yeah. The uh, next level up, I will get Local Leader. I'll be fixing up Sanctuary, heading to Pan Pine's block, and doing that plus. So that's the plan. Okay, really quick. Alright. Uh, it was fun. Next time, I will be, yeah, continuing doing settlement stuff. Alright. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye now.